my name is Paul Nishihira, Application Engineer with Go Engineer, and welcome to another session of Go Engineer's Quick Tips video. In this session, we are going to talk about the basic application and usage of axes and temporary axes. The axes command is located on the Features tab of the Command Manager, and under Reference Geometry, we have axes. Alternatively, we can also use our search function. We'll type in axis and click on axis and it will bring us into our property manager of the axis box. So if you notice, we have five different selections of creating our axes. We have one line edge axis, two planes, two points and vertices, cylindrical conical face, point and face plane. So the first thing we're going to talk about is cylindrical and conical face. So every cylindrical and conical feature has an axis associated with it. One way to view it is to turn on the temporary axes of the part using the hide show items temporary axis associated with this conical or circular feature. Now additionally we are also able to create an axis as well. So let's turn off our hide show items, temporary axis, and select cylindrical conical face. Clicking on the feature, and we have our newly created axis. So additionally, let's go ahead and we're going to jump down here to point and face plane. So as the name implies, it's asking for a point and a face for our selections to create our axes. So I'm going to pick this face right here, as well as this point. And what it's going to do is create an axis normal to this face, and we'll have our newly created axis geometry. You can even select that axis and resize the drag handles as well. Okay, let's go back into our axis command and we're going to work actually going up toward, towards the top here. So the next thing we want is two points vertices. So as the name implies, it's asking us for two points or vertices. So I'm going to select this vertice and that vertice. And you can see we have our newly created axis referencing those two vertices. Our next selection is going to be two planes. So again, as the name implies, two intersecting planes is going to create our new axis geometry. So what I'm going to do is bring out my file feature manager tree and I'm going to select the intersection of the right plane and the intersection of the front plane. Green check mark and there it is we have our newly created axis re referencing the two intersection of those planes. And last but not least we have one line edge or axes. Go ahead and make that selection here and let's say we want to create an axis that's collinear to this edge just pick that edge and it's easy as that we have our newly created axis geometry that's collinear to this existing feature edge so what I would like to show you next is a great usage of your temporary axis what my design intent is to create a circular pattern on this slot feature with a total of four instances equally spaced at 360 degrees so I'll go to my axis command and this time I want to use two planes. Select that and we're going to create an axis at the cross section of the front and right planes. Hit OK. And then now we'll go to circular pattern Choose our pattern axis. 
360 degrees. A total of four instances with equal spacing. We'll highlight our Features and Faces box and I'm going to select the Slot feature. There it is. Easy as that. This is Paul Nishihiro with Go Engineer. Thanks for watching.